longer than that, but I've been doing this time. But, um, you know, it's, it's, those kind of conversations you hope are just productive and that whatever the issue is or the narrative or whatever it is, that uh, uh, the, hopefully the general majority reaction is, you know, people figuring out a, a solution to what we're talking about or have a productive conversation beyond just throwing, you know, words and 140 character tweets at people. Um, so it is what it is. You have a, obviously have a relationship where you go out to China. Um, do you, with Under Armour, do you know if that, you know, as you do get educated more, what, do you think that'll be something that keeps going on for you? I mean, I'm not sure. Uh, I've done it for the last six years, and honestly, I've enjoyed my times there, so, uh, you know, that's been a big part of my kind of summer routine and, and my experience and like I said I've enjoyed it but other than that uh, I don't know how to affect that at, at all at this point. Did you ever feel unsafe from the president? A little bit. Um, at that point it was still kind of new I guess from his standpoint of like how active he was and, and calling people out and that kind of vibe and me being caught up in that back in 2016 but uh, at this point Keep doing what you're doing. Are you following the NBA statements? Adam Silver had a press conference. What have you kind of thought about the NBA's current response? Not specifically. I've, I've read it, and to be honest, uh, it sounds like I'm not dodging the question. It's literally I've had stuff going on in my personal life, so I need to literally sit down. Something this big that involves the entire landscape of the league and Of a country like China, like that's something you don't want. You're not just walking into the kind of lighthearted and just saying stuff off the cuff. You know, how we have approached every situation that we've been in, you're educated, and you uh, understand you know, what your point of view is, and you stick to it. So I don't want to have to go back and forth on that. Steph, you know how the news cycle works for all